Hi, I'm Trevor Gwynn. Welcome to the Goal Experiment. Come on, follow me, let's go explore. Well, I'm back up into the area where I had dove down to look for my watch. And I uh, brought my dad with me this time. Uh, after seeing the last video, he realized he'd never been up here. So he wanted me to bring him up and uh, show him some of these places. And we'll do some additional exploring. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. See you out there. Oh, check this out. One of the things I wanted to do while we were out here was eat as many wild edibles as I could. And one of the things I found is this plant right here. And these parts are known as organ grapes. A little bit sour, but they're edible. One of the things I've always wanted to try before I actually get into a situation where I'm starving or I need to eat some food. I'd rather do it in a controlled environment while I'm out here, you know, I've got someone with me, is to try to eat some of the wildlife. And uh, I've got myself a little grasshopper here. I've never eaten one. Still don't know if I really want to, but I want to be able to know that I can eat this without vomiting and dehydrating myself even more. So, uh, Bon Appetit, I guess. It's not very good. But if it keeps me alive, it's good enough. At least I know I can eat. One of the things that my dad and I wanted to show you while we're out here today is different ways to filter water or purify your water. Of course, staying hydrated is one of the most important things you can do while you're out hiking or you're in a survival situation. And since we are out here hiking, the first two I wanted to show you are nice and small, compact. You can just throw them in your backpack, even in just your pocket. And the first one I want to show you, we found at a gun show at one of the survival uh, products booths. And it's just a straw, you take the lid off, and you've got a charcoal filter right down here. And you literally just dip this into your water source and drink through the straw. But again, we found that at a gun show, just kind of a chance buy. I want to show you. The second one I want to show you, you can buy at pretty much any sporting goods store. And it's made by a company called Aquamira. And you can pick it up for about $10. Okay, you've got your main filter here and just a straw, you can extend it and have fun with the bendy straw. One of the most important things you want to remember about a filter like this as charcoal, when you take your first couple of drinks, it's going to run some of that charcoal through the straw. So you want to make sure you don't swallow on your first couple of drinks. And I'll show you how this works. Once you get all that charcoal out of there, go ahead and drink up. Nice, clean, filtered water. All right, again, since we're out here hiking, you know you don't want to carry a big, bulky pump water filter. Another two that I'm going to show you are just water filter bottles. You guys have seen this one in one of my previous videos before. And it's literally just like a sports drink bottle. This one has a removable filter. You dip this in the water, put the filter back in, screw your lid back on, take a drink. This one's a little bit different. It's got a longer straw style, actually connected to the lid, but it works the same way. You just fill the bottle up, screw your lid on, and take your drink. You've got good, clean water again. All right, now that I've shown you two different methods, of staying lightweight while you're out backpacking or hiking, I'm going to move into some of the pump style water filters. These are a little bit heavier, a little bit bulkier, 
but if you need to sustain yourself or a group of people a little bit longer, these are a little bit better way to go. That way you're not just each using the little straw or all trying to drink out of the same water bottle. First one I'm going to show you is made by MSR. Okay, and it is a pump style, kind of like your old style uh, wells where you actually have to pump it using the handle. And you've got a suction tube that has a pre-filter and it's also got a little piece of styrofoam on here so when you drop it in the water you're keeping your suction off the bottom keeping all the grime out of your filter. Now this end of it is manufactured to actually screw onto a 32 ounce Nalgene water bottle which is pretty popular for a lot of hikers and a lot of us that do stuff outdoors. So you just screw your bottle right on there, drop your suction tube into your water, and just pump until your water bottle's full. I'm going to show you a couple other models that we have and uh, just give you an idea of some different brands that you can go out and purchase. Second one I want to show you is made by a company called First Need. Now First Need's been around for 20 plus years. And to this day, they're still rated as one of the number one water filtration systems in the world. And this one's a little bit older, but it uses the same uh, method. You've got your suction tube, you've got your pump, and you've got the place where you would attach a water bottle or just put it over your pot or pan, and you fill up the suction through, and you've got good, clean water. And the last one that I have is called the Katadin Hiker Pro. And it's exactly the same as the others, except this one has a fill tube that you can actually run to your water bottle or to whatever container that you have to hold your water. But it's got the same concept as the MSR. You've got a pre-filter to keep all the gunk and nasties off the bottom. You've got the styrofoam to keep it afloat, again, to keep, keep the uh, pre-filter off the bottom. But this one actually just pumps straight up and down. And I'll show you, it takes a little bit to get it going. But once it gets the water in there, you start getting nice, clean, filtered water. You can fill up your water bottles, fill up your cooking pots, or you can even just drink straight from the tube itself. Another method that my dad and I have found that works really well is the use of iodine tablets and the GSI coffee filter that you guys have seen me do a video on, but I actually made coffee. And what this filter actually does, if you have a stagnant pool of water that has you know, large chunks of mud and wood, you just dip your bottle in and all that stuff's gonna stay in the filter and you're gonna get your clean water down into the bottle. Now once you put the iodine tablet in, you want to make sure you wait 15 to 30 minutes depending on what brand you buy before you drink your water. You've got to give that iodine time to sterilize your water. And remember, it's not going to taste like clean water. It's actually going to taste like iodine, have kind of a nasty taste, but at least you know you're drinking clean, good, healthy water. Since we're on the subject, of stagnant, dirty water, I wanted to show you a couple other things that we don't carry in our packs, but we keep at home in case of you know, natural disaster emergencies. And what these are is they're a small pouch with flavor inside of them. And the pouch actually has a membrane, which only allows water to filter through one direction. So you can literally put this in a mud puddle, uh, anything, except antifreeze or salt water but any kind of water and it's going to filter through fill this up and it's actually a flavored uh, source inside so you're going to get kind of a kool-aid but the only problem with these is they take eight hours to fill up completely the other one is the same concept using the same membrane uh, technology but this is actually a pouch that you could carry around kind of like a water bladder or a camel bag and it comes with six bottles of flavor. So you would actually filter out all your water and then add the flavor later. And the only other option that we have 
is this collapsible water bucket. And you literally just dip it into whatever water source you're using, carry it back to your house, your base camp, and use probably, you know, one of the pump water filters, you know, up at your camp so you're not constantly down at the river, mud puddle, water source, whatever you're using. So you guys, that's all our different types of water filtration and water purifying techniques that my dad and I both own, carry, or keep at the house. And uh, we're gonna go out and keep exploring this river. Since we used my dad's water bottle for demonstration purposes and we filled it with the stream water, we actually get a practical use of the Kdn Pro Hiker here refilling his water bottle with filtered water. One of the great things about being out here with my dad is not only do we get to spend some family time together and share some of these great moments, but uh, he's also decided to start his own YouTube channel, start making some of his own videos. Uh, he's helped me out quite a bit over the last couple years filming and uh, helping me out with some gear and stuff. And he's decided to start his own channel uh, while we're out here. He's got his own camera rolling, doing his introduction. So I want you guys to check him out. He's going to go under the name of Gwen1947. Uh, that's probably where I get it. Uh, the lack of uh, imagination for our names. But uh, go check him out. It's my dad. And we're going to be out here doing a lot more films together. He's going to do some gun reviews and uh, a lot more prepping and uh, survival stuff like I've done. And uh, he's going to try to get out here with me and uh, obviously go out and live. So check them out, Gwen1947. Well, we've decided to stop and take a break for a little bit, eat some lunch. Uh, we've both got some civilian MREs or meals ready to eat. Uh, but we're not out here to do reviews on those today. You know, we did the water filtration and uh, water purification. So we're just taking a break. We're going to eat some lunch and uh, continue on. Looks like no watch again. Maybe someone else found it. Lucky them, I guess. But uh, never know, maybe we'll keep looking. Well, everyone, that's our day. Uh, 
Again, we were able to introduce my dad's channel, Win 1947. We were able to show you some of our water filtration and water purification methods. Uh, dove down again, looked for the watch, didn't find it. So, you know, like I said, maybe someone else found it. But we're going to dry off and uh, head home. So, thanks for joining us. I'm going to get all these wet clothes, dry off, and head home. So, go out and live. See you next time.